I generate new ideas and new energy from my connection with people. Now, this particular affirmation is in connection with life element number five, social and cultural life affirmations from inside Police Your Thoughts, the affirmation guide that I wrote. And that's what we're talking about today your social and cultural life. As I was beginning to come on to record this, I thought about a couple things. Number one, uh, I do a concept called the Alignment Circle Inside 3D Success Academy. And many of the clients who come to work with me when taking this particular Alignment Circle exercise I find that their social and cultural life usually has a really low rating. And you would have to have taken the alignment circle exercise to understand what I mean by rating. Mm -hmm. But I find that that particular um, area (laughs) is always relatively low. And I do work with ambitious, creative people. hard working and I say hard working because many of the women are overworking prior to coming to me and we find ways for work life harmony for them to create more money with less effort and offer more value all the things and I find that their social and cultural life is kind of on the low end now secondly I also thought about a young lady that I spoke with recently And we were talking about her dating life. So I am not a marriage coach, (laughs) guys. But I do encounter many women who talk about dating and relationships because I am a relationship person. Uh, As a life coach, having people skills and understanding human design and behavior and identity and all those things. And that's basically we, as a, in a relationship, is two individuals, right? That bring themselves to a relationship. And your personal power and being whole is one of the dynamics that helps you to be in, have, allow, and attract great relationships. So I'm speaking with my client about relationships and, you know, she's like, I think I'm ready to, you know, step out and and date. It's been seven years, right? And I said, man, I don't, I did take a, a, a huge break in between uh, being divorced and um, stepping out onto the dating scene. But I don't suggest women take as long as I took, right? Um, Well, some of mine was years of separation, so I was still married. But I say that because for all the inner work that you do, you never really know if you are completely healed from it until you put it into practice. (laughs) And a lot of that happens in the dating arena. You get an opportunity to see just how healed you are, to create new standards and new boundaries that you may need, or you may find that you need to be more open about things that you once had this like stark opinion about. And so I believe that dating is healthy um, as much as is your social and cultural life many people go into isolation i understand right i was miss queen of isolation right but i think isolation is completely different from finding space to be one with yourself uh to be one with god to revisit things and restructure different areas in your life but isolation is a little different and it can often lead to and you all can google this right i'm not a doctor but it can also lead to health issues because we were made to be in connectivity with one another believe it or not there's so many things that happen in the basis of being connected here's the affirmation that i shared at the beginning i generate new ideas and new energy from my connection with people I generate new ideas and new energy from my connection with people. And that energy is so much more important than most people even realize. Like there are, I don't know why electromagnetic (laughs) was a word that came up in my spirit, but we're gonna just use that and say that I'm just in flow. But 
I wanted to say there's this electromagnetic field that we are um, connected to and when we are doing things with each other and in each other's company and presence, we give each other energy. I think it's a valuable thing. And so um, as we become parents, business owners, community leaders, and servants in the community, our social life often dwindles if it isn't like connected to work or something that we're doing for the community. It's easy to do considering we may actively be around people in our activities we assume that those are true connections and i'm not saying we're not forming true connections in our work life but i mean connections that are outside of work that you know don't have work attached to it this is not like our deepest connections for the purpose of connectivity our social and cultural life should be a place of connection and rejuvenation with people you can let your hair down with or talk to a little slang you know you can talk a little slang even though i do that with you all just authentically right um you can have a little extra swag with and and feel okay right a place of true peace a place of trust to sift through life's challenges and successes and so having a social and cultural life is important someone to do activities with and fun experiences a, a girlfriend of mine said hey let's hop the train to charlotte for the day just just for the day right and so your social and cultural life although it may be something that you put on the back burner it there's a life force energy that comes with that especially once you are connected to people who are aligned with who you are now and who you desire to become and you only meet connect and vibe with those people when you get out into the world space and like live a little bit let the world experience your energy and attract people to you as well so here are some affirmations for your social and cultural life i find amazing things to do that bring me value right in my state and i say that because i believe one of the best experiences i had thus far that i did not plan that was right here in my state was a tour that I took when I turned 30. It was a date and on the date, the guy had already planned for us to take a tour. And I I was just so elated. I talk about that same tour that's been some years ago all the time because it was not only in my state, but it was in my hometown. And at the time I was no longer living there. And so it was just absolutely amazing. and that prompted me to find you know other tours and events that were right in my state so i'm saying this because so many people use the excuse of you know maybe not being able to get out of town at the moment you know on a plane now your girl loved the plane too right you know there was a season i was on it every other week uh so i'm not saying don't get on the plane but i'm just saying don't allow uh, location or, or proximity to be an issue for you because more than likely there are so many things that are available to do right in your state right in the state that you live in so i'll read that again i find amazing things to do that bring me value right in my state my network impacts my net worth my network impacts my net worth when I think about the community that I create with the clients that come to work with me, many of them took programs that began back in 2018. They're still connected. They have product lines and uh, services that they buy from each other. They refer each other out. And so, listen, your your network becomes a huge aspect of your, your net worth. I'll read... Um, Another one, I am connected to my community. Guys, I cannot explain, especially if you are, you know, maybe coming out of corporate America and delving into entrepreneurship, how important being connected to your community is. Um, how important finding things that you are general, generally aligned with, like it's natural alignment for you that connect you to the community. It's one of the concepts that I, I teach in my academy because it's so important. I have clients who have found their thing, right? 
that superseded their imagination through their community. One client in particular has taught in 30 different counties or cities. I'm not sure, right? Uh, simply from her connections made in, in her community. So that's important. The affirmation is I am connected to my community. I travel often and am paid generously to do so. Now, if you guys know, um, I believe that the workman is due, you know, for for his labor. He's due money and uh, to be paid for his labor. And so there are opportunities that allow you to even travel because of your social and cultural connections and be paid generously for it for them. And this is just a space of abundance. One of the things that we work on heavily inside She Prospers 30 Day Mastermind and September the 7th is the last day at midnight to sign up for the last enrollment for 2024. But just tapping into that space of abundance where your your mind, your heart, um, your body, your soul is open and receptive to new opportunities because more than likely they are closer to you than you think you're more qualified than you know and they are simply waiting on you to step into the mindset of someone who can receive on that level i was afforded many opportunities by which i'm really really grateful for through my community and many of those relationships from uh decades ago are still my lifelong connection. I've, I've made lifelong friends from those who still think of me um, for not just our loving, true connection, but even opportunities. And so your social and cultural life gives you energy, guys. It gives you life force. Don't let that be the lowest area, the lowest element that you actually pour into and make intentional right it's it's really really important uh, many people face health issues who are isolated look you only got your own thoughts and all those things i could go deeper but um yes your social and cultural life is important affirm that you have an amazing one i'm not saying you have to be going outside seven days a week but i think it's very intentional that you have things that you can connect to that are community related that are world related that are people <laughs> related socially and culturally that stimulate um, your vibe your frequency so that you can attract um, on a different level that's my take on today listen guys if you haven't signed up for she prospers 30 day mastermind don't miss the opportunity september the 7th at midnight is the last day in 2024 to sign up we're going to have an amazing time manifesting stepping into new levels of abundance uncovering limiting beliefs tapping into that feminine energy that allows us to attract as a, to attract as opposed to chasing so that we can call things in quicker sooner faster with grace and more ease that's my take on today peace and abundance